on that special October night three years ago, when I met the cutest, sweetest little New Yorker in the world, I knew my life was about to change forever. And ever since that day, both of us have gone through so many life changes that have made us constantly change and grow, both as individuals and as a couple. And through every graduation, every first day of work, every moving day, and every closing day, one thing has remained constant. Through all these life changes, I have known with all my heart that you are the person that I want to go through them with. I promise to love you wholeheartedly and unconditionally for the rest of my life. And I can't wait to see what adventures life takes us on as husband and wife. I love always. My sweet girl. I will forever be thankful for that night we met in October and we sat on the kitchen floor talking for hours and our smiles turned into laughs and our laughs turned into kisses and before we knew it our lives had changed forever. We have chosen each other today and I will continue to choose you every day after to struggle and succeed with, to laugh and grow old with, without pause and without doubt. You are kind, you are patient, you are steady and you are abundantly more than I could have asked for. When I see and think of you, I see the sweetest years behind us and a lifetime in front of us. And though I've loved being your fiance, I can't wait to be your wife. Thank you for the way you've loved me. I'm so happy you kissed me that night in October and never stopped. I love you, your bride. I, Michael, take you, Brooke. I, Brooke, take you, Michael. To be my wife. To be my husband. To have and to hold. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I hope you know how lucky you are to have this young woman sitting next to you. This is a person that would call me in the early hours of the morning worried about you after you began your job as a police officer. She puts you before herself, and I may be doing a disservice here because I don't know that words can truly explain her love for you. And Brooke, you're so lucky to have a wonderful husband in Michael. I can tell plenty of stories of how he has shown me love, loyalty, and support over the years, and I know he will bring these great qualities to your marriage. Please take care of him. He's more than a best friend. He's a brother to me. You know, one of the things that, that uh, a father always hopes is that, that his daughter finds the right groom. And Amy and I feel very blessed in that regard. You know, we, we think the world of Michael, and we welcome him into our family with open arms. Why, why, it's calling now The why, why, it's calling
time, no time, oh.